Here in this video, we will see a problem on temperature, stress and strain. Here we have a question. Whatever is given here first, I will write that in the form of data. Steel bar of 30 mm diameter is heated to 80 degrees Celsius and then clamped at the ends. It is then allowed to cool down to 30 degrees Celsius. Now, so 80 degrees Celsius, I'll keep it as temperature T2. 30 degrees Celsius, that is T1. Next, it is said that during cooling, only 1 mm contraction was allowed. So therefore, allowed contraction is 1 mm. Then calculate the th temperature stress develop and reaction at the clamps. We have to find out the temperature stress and reaction which is denoted by F R is equal to F that is the reaction offered by the clamps. Take length of the bar as 10 meter or we can say 10 into 10 raised to 3 mm. Next alpha and E values are given. So in this problem it is said that steel bar having 30 mm diameter is heated to 80 degree celsius so at first it is being heated so now i can say that in the solution part there is a steel bar first it is being heated and then it is allowed to cool and when it is allowed to cool the contraction which is allowed is only 1 mm so how the contraction is prevented it is in such a way that there are clamps attached to the steel rod in this way on both the sides So here, as we can see that on both the sides, there are clamps. Now, these clamps are holding this steel rod. So what happens here is that at first the steel rod is heated and then it is allowed to cool. So the total temperature difference which is given is it is 80 minus 30 degree Celsius that first it is heated up to 80 degree Celsius and then allowed to cool up to 30 degree Celsius so the temperature change becomes 50 degree Celsius and then when it is allowed to cool this metal rod will try to contract but here because of the presence of the clamp they will try to avoid that contraction and these clamps they are allowing the metal rod to only contract by 1 mm so at first what we have to do i'll write down since the steel bar is heated first so therefore free expansion because of heating is given by the free expansion is delta L is equal to alpha into delta T into L which is the original length of the steel rod so therefore alpha value is given as 12 into 10 raised to minus 6 the change in temperature it is here we have found out it is 50 into the length is 10 into 10 raised to 3 mm so from this i will get the answer of deflection which comes out to be 6 mm so this much is the free expansion for this steel rod or a steel bar 
Now, after we have found out the free expansion, this steel bar is allowed to contract. And when it is allowed to contract, only 1 mm contraction is allowed. So, how much contraction is prevented is that, first of all, we, need, we know the free expansion as 6 mm. So, even the free contraction will be 6 mm. But here only 1 mm contraction is allowed. So, the contraction prevented, I'll write down. Therefore, contraction which is prevented is equal to delta L minus 1 mm because only 1 mm is allowed. So, the prevented contraction is 6 minus 1 that is 5 mm. This much is the contraction which is prevented and it is prevented by providing clamps on both the sides. Which, will, which would pull the rod because when it contracts it would move inside but since the clamps are present they will move the rod in the outward direction so preventing the contraction. Now after getting the contraction prevented we can calculate the value of thermal strain and here the thermal strain which is developed it would be tensile in nature so first I will write down therefore thermal strain in the steel bar is given by it is the contraction prevented upon the original length Therefore, the contraction prevented is 5, original length is 10 into 10 raised to 3. So, here I will get the thermal strain as 5 into 10 raised to minus 4. Now, after getting this thermal strain, I will calculate the value of thermal stress. So, therefore, thermal stress developed in the steel bar is given by thermal stresses strain into Young's modulus and this is from Hooke's law so therefore stress is equal to strain is 5 into 10 raised to minus 4 so here the thermal stresses Thermal strain into Young's modulus by Hooke's law. The value of thermal strain is 5 into 10 raised to minus 4. We have found out. Young's modulus is 200 into 10 raised to 3. So from this if we multiply we are going to get the value of thermal stress as 100 Newton per mm square. So once we know the stress value. The next question is. We have to find out the reaction at the clamps. So. I can say that since thermal stress is also given by sigma is equal to reaction at the clamps divided by cross section area of bar so here stress is equal to reaction at the clamps is I can denote it by F because it is a force cross section area so here we want to calculate F that is equal to stress into area stress we have found out it is 100 and area of the steel bar it is the area we can calculate by using pi by 4 into the diameter of the steel bar was given as 30 so pi by 4 into 30 square from this I will get the value of F which is 70.685 into 10 raised to 3 Newton or we can say that it is 70.685 kilo Newton So this is the second answer. 
So here if you look into the question, there were two things asked to calculate the temperature stress and reaction at the clamp. We have found out the temperature stress as 100 Newton per mm square and the reaction at the clamp, its value is 70.685 kilonewton. And with this, we complete the question.